From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with the Chicago Bears. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Here we go now. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last go, night go, in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly I don't know. that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Hey, 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 lower than hey, hey. the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Setting the tone early for this game. Easy. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And an alley to run. Now Trubisky lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Mahomes to the former Ram, Sammy Wiggins for the Kansas City first. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's taken down inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And down inside the 15, he goes. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. A first trip to the red zone for KC. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Here we go. Green, 90. Green, 90. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. 
And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey from 13 yards out. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Now the hook up here to Allen Robinson. Shooting defenders at the 15. And he'll be marked down all the way inside the KC-10. Trubisky hitting Robinson for a big one. 68 yards. A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. They've got it first and goal at the seven. On first and goal, Howard. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Out of the gun, Trubisky on the move to his... And he will score! Touchdown, Chicago! Mitchell Trubisky, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. Parkey with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. Officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall that they can put their back against and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Trying to fight his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick, and he'll get this down to about the 12-yard line. Kelsey, the intended receiver there. From their own two, Charles, they opted to throw it instead of run it. We saw the outcome. Hey, go, I think go, what go. a lot of teams count on is defenses to stack line of scrimmage, trying to force a safety or force a turnover there. But if you've got a good defensive front, you just allow them to play the run and everyone. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. Allen Gulley able to drop him for a loss hole. Now Trubisky to throw on second. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage. 
but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off, not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra, really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. Here's Trubisky to throw, and he's taken down, a cheap sack. Anthony Hitchens in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. And Parkey's kick is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because <laughs> officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of being right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They get it to him running left. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And Parkey's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to go figure... Now. If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Mahomes going to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. And now a low hitter. I think he mishit it. He 
It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And where the ball is now, you got the field goal pretty much in the bag. Now do you try for the end zone a couple of times? I don't think there's any question about it. You might get a gift of six points rather than the three that you just noted that you feel like you already have. Be aggressive, go after it, and try and get those points. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. No move for the field goal unit. They're going to go here with five seconds left. Final play of the half. It's Trubisky. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Taylor Gabriel in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone set. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Kelsey. That'll bring up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Mahomes now to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on four. Mahomes now on the sneak. And it'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Yeah, that play is blown up. I thought they were going to switch out. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have to what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they set that one behind the line of scrimmage. Hey, 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 we got three down. Here we go now. Three. 
On play action, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Demetrius Harris, the intended target, and it's third down. He's a little happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing his Mahomes on third. He is going to find Hill here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Khalil Mack in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Over the middle, he's got Gims. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. The Chiefs on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and nine. Zing, zing, zing. Zing, zing, zing. Buddy. Looking to throw is Mahomes. On target over the middle to Hill. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because... Just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They come up in an offset eye. He's going to get it running right. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. The quick slant caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Big foot. And oh, it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, times have really changed on the, on the PAT, on the extra point, haven't they? A lot more effort goes into this play from both sides. Yeah, because let's face it, a lot of time on extra points, the effort is not what it is when you're trying to block a field goal. No, no doubt about it. Before, when the ball was snapped on the two-yard line as really a virtual chip shot, now everyone believes they can get to it and knock it away, and we know how crucial every point is. So the defensive guys, there's been a lot more time trying to get that done, which means there's more pressure on the offensive guys trying to kick it. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. And that would 
not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Let's go, let's go. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. This is Howard on second down. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Chris Jones on the stop. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. The Bears on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Now it's Trubisky. Escaping the pressure right. He'll leave it for Cohen. Complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Call it a pickup of seven. And it'll be fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Trubisky with a give to Howard. And an alley to run. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Chicago. Jordan Howard, 50 yards. And the Bears will extend their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Mahomes. And he'll win it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. Mahomes now on first down. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards on the play. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. And again, it's Mahomes. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points that gets him back within a field goal. Butker now to kick this one away. On the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Where takes the give from Mahomes. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And some room to work. And he 
will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Spencer Ware, 38 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs, Curl, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Butker now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. On first, they go right back to Howard. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Back to throw. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Trubisky now, six for six since back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. He's back to throw. Dancing to his left. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it a second down. He'll look to throw, rolling to his right. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Steven Nelson able to get a hand in in coverage. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But also, right, you can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. All right, partner, I'm a defender. Got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. They go with Howard again, and he's going to get this one down to the 30. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they're using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. With two seconds left in regulation, this to force overtime. And his kick here is good. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. 
Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. That's fielded in the end zone. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this year, the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now it's Trubisky being chased out left. And give him ten that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice gain. Here right, comes a big one now in overtime. This is third and inches. Right. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first 10. Looking to throw, Trubisky on first down. Flushed out right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it's a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And he is in for the score. to see and making it extra special not only did i get four quarters with you in this one i got some overtime a little whipped cream on top look at you trying to make this whole thing palatable. i just want you to pay for my meal later hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted but how much fun was that we had that type of a game where we got us to overtime and the dramatic ending to finish things off as well what a game so that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Kansas City. Let's hit the post-game tailgates and grab some of that barbecue. Yeah, BBQ.